Hey guys, it's Lon here and in this video I'm going to talk about AliExpress Helper, a must have tool that you need if you're using DS's and AliExpress to dropship. And the reason is because you actually need to extract your orders for your bookkeepers. Now if you don't have this, there is no way for you to extract your orders. I mean there are other apps out there but they may be paid and this one here is free and it's been working for me. Now the majority of time this tool does work. But because AliExpress are constantly updating the UI, constantly updating where the information is, this Chrome extension of course has to keep updated. Sometimes it takes a bit longer for them to work things out. So what we want to do first is open your Chrome browser and then find this Chrome extension, AliExpress Helper. And you want to just add to Chrome. Add extension, AliExpress Helper is added and then we're going to just pin this to the top and then you can see it up here. Now the overview is free help for AliExpress, export orders as CSV, download videos and users, uploaded images, export reviews. Now I haven't used the other tools but you can check them out. But in this video we're just going to focus on using the tool to export our orders. So we're going to click on this extension here and it's going to open your AliExpress for you and you see this is the home page and you want to just head over to my orders. So now that we're on our orders page, it's time to run your report. The thing is, because you probably haven't exported any orders in the past, you actually need to go back in time. Now let's just say you started your business in January, then you need to export all your orders since January. And it's going to take a while, but you really need to do this if you're running a legitimate business. So now we want to export our orders, so we want to click on the extension again. And now you can see download your orders from this date to that date. And you could just choose whichever date. And let's just say I want to choose the 1st of August. And I want to just do the 1st of August only. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to see if it doesn't miss out as many orders. If I was to do it daily instead of like monthly. Because if you could think about it, if you do it by monthly, that's a lot of orders that the app is trying to process. However, if it's just daily, Maybe it's not going to miss out orders. So let's just see. So we want to click download orders. You can see this toolbar here is getting smaller and smaller. Because what's happening is the orders are displayed in chronological order, right? So this is the 22nd of August. However, you need to go all the way back down to the 1st of August. Now, if you think about it, if your orders was in January, then it's going to take a long time to go all the way back down. But as you can see here, we're scrolling down. These are all my orders on AliExpress for my business. And you can see it says view orders here. And it just basically populates more orders. Now you can see here it's like downloading block of 8 orders. And this is actually going to be the first bug. So basically when it loads your past orders, it's not going to load all of them. And what you want to do is scroll all the way back down to the bottom. And just keep clicking view orders. And you want to do this until the date is actually past your date that you selected. For example, since I selected August 1st, we want to load more orders before the August 1st, so basically like July 30th. The reason why we're doing this is because if your orders aren't on this page, then the app might bug and it won't export your orders. So now you can see that it says order date July 30th. And what we want to do now is rerun that report. So go to extension from 1st of August to 1st of August, download orders again. And as you can see now, it's saying download and block of 43 orders and not 8. And guys, this is just one AliExpress account. I have multiple AliExpress accounts and I'm basically split it between US and non-US. And then I have another account just in case. But as you can see here, it's just basically downloading your orders. And you just want to do other things whilst this happens. I mean, if you have dual monitor, that's a good option. Otherwise, you'd just be sitting here watching your orders get downloaded. So as you can see here, it downloaded the order. So what we want to do is go to your downloads folder. So now that we're in Explorer in our download folder, you can see here that one file was downloaded just now. And you basically renamed this. It's going to be 1st, 2024, August 01. 
and then it'll just be like AliExpress purchases and then that's basically your file there and you just open a file to just see if the file is like correct and it's exported all your orders so as you can see here we've got the order the buyer name buyer phone number address etc this is everything you need for your bookkeeper and also you're gonna probably need invoices for each order and that's a separate app and that's basically it and you're just gonna keep doing that for every day so I'm just gonna go back click up here select number two so 2nd of August just select that process and of course the orders are gonna be different every day you see here that a new file has been downloaded I'll just copy that in and then that's the second and so now you have the first and the second and you keep working your way through and that's it guys thank you for watching let me know if you found this video useful and if you did smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content peace